Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross. This is 480 Volts. We have decided to uh, head back to Arnie Village and uh, see if we can tell them what's going on. You know, in another world, everybody we talked to, even a pirate captain, believed our uh, story of being in an alternate reality, so surely they'll believe us when we tell them that now we're in an alternate body. Alright, so let's talk to people. Huh? Huh? Demi-humans? What do you monsters want from us? No, see, we're not really demi-humans. Excuse me, geezer. What kind of attitude is that? I will kick your derriere to the moon if you talk to moon lynx, Komika. Ah! Freak! I don't know if Harley's considered a demi-human or what, but there you go. I have nothing to say to you demi-humans. Now get the hell out of our village, accursed monsters! Okay, they don't like us. Oh my, what parts do you hail from? Well, it doesn't much matter to me. Customers are my business. No, thank you. I don't like widow window shoppers. Would you stop loitering? You're hurting my business. All right, let's, let's continue to talk to people. It's been quite a while since I encountered a demi-human in this village. I hear you only find demi-humans in Galdove and aboard the Zelbus these days. What's the Zelbus? Well, hello there, huh? Who are you folks? Demi-humans, eh? Just don't cause any trouble in our village, okay? You got it. I'm not gonna cause any trouble. Uh, let's talk to people we know. Wow, you sure are strange looking. Are you a cat man? You're not gonna bite my head off or scratch me to death, are you? Nah, but I'm not afraid of you. I'm big and strong. Besides, my surgery will protect me. Um. Hmm, I see. Serge would do that for you. If that is the case, then you are safe. No one will be able to hurt you. I know! Ha! So there! Well, I'm Serge, so just so you know. What's up, Yuna? Who, who, who or what are you? Who, what do you want? What? No way! You're Sergi! You? Give me a break. Our Sergi is a human. Read my lips. Human! He's not a demi-human like you. You're full of it. Well, what shall you do, Monsieur Lynx? Nobody in your village believes that you are Serge. Yeah, of course we don't believe you. Everyone in this village knows Sergi. We're not going to be fooled by a bunch of demi-humans like you. I don't even know what you joke jokers are up to. But just get the hell out of our village. Language, kid. You don't need to be cussing like that. Uh, let's talk to, um... This guy here. L Lynx? Ah! Please, just don't wreck our boats! Please, I beg of you! We live a quiet, humble life in this here village. There is no way any of us would oppose you. Ah, huh, so they know Lynx. I wonder how that is. What's up, man? Wow! Awesome! You're for real, right? Are you a human cat or a cat human? Do you like catnip? Well, do you like catnip? Uh, of course. I thought so. I guess you are what you eat. Grandma also told me that how you look on the outside is a reflection of what's in your heart. Oh, well, that's very nice of her. What do you say if I say, uh, whatever? You don't like it? Just because you look like a cat doesn't mean you're one? Oh, then you're no different from than us. How boring. Okay. What's up, guy? Ah! Who, who are you? What do you want? Oh, I know. You're after my sawfish, aren't you? Am I right? Well, I got no fishes for a stray cat like you. Now scram! Shoo, shoo! Okay. Um, what happens if I go this way? Hey, there's Potion! Well, I'll talk to her in a minute. I don't talk to Demi Humans. Now scram! Where's Radius? Ganji will never live up to Radius' legacy as Village Chief. Oh, Chief Radius, please come back soon. Where'd he go? Hmm. The Record of Fate makes no mention of me meeting a demi-human. No, no, you must be mistaken. The Record of Fate never makes mistakes. Of course not. What do you say? You sure do dress funny, mister. You look like a cute kitty cat. Yeah? Well, let's talk to Poshul, if I can ever... Hey, Poshul. Me, I'm a bit busy right now. Maybe next time. See, Poshul doesn't recognize us. Now, quick little side note, if we had recruited, or if we had not recruited Potion, or at least not recruited her in a home world, well, that means we could still get that Hecron bone, you know, and give it to uh, Potion. And she would say the whole nine yards, oh, I'm 
you know, me accept your present, me will come by your side and use my pretty power of Miracle X, me will do it. And then she'll say, oh, uh, but Lena told me never to play with strangers, so no, I can't. And then she'll leave you, so, hey, she doesn't recognize us, so she doesn't realize we're Serge. Chief Radius has been acting strange lately. He stares out towards Termino with thought-filled eyes. Actually, he gets like this every time, every year at this time. Maybe it has something to do with the Viper Festival. Could be. Yeah, that's right. The Record of Fate will record anything for you, whether it be good or bad. I don't know what kind of life you've been leading, but it's better not to have a past. It's better to have a past than not, right? You should take things as they come. Well, learning from your past—that's what's important. Are these the same people as before? If you listen closely, the Record of Fate will tell you lots of things. I think. I I think uh, I think I've already talked to these people about that. Well, well, this is unusual. What business does a demi-human like you have with the chief? The chief isn't here. He said he was going out for a stroll. Oh, that's quite nice. I didn't want to talk to the freaking chief anyway. I just want to go talk to other peoples. Okay. So Postal will not join us. Let's try. Let's uh, check on Lena's grandmother. See if she says anything. The last place, or the last person I'll talk to will be Serge's mother. Hey there, Grandma. It's been a long time since I've seen a demi-human. Have the gates to the great beyond opened up? I just hope nothing bad happens. Ha ha ha. Like what? Look here, that cat belongs to me. She is not your lunch, got it? Why would, why would I eat a cat? You know, like, wouldn't that be cannibalism? Okay. Let's go check on uh, Kiki's dad and all that, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, a feline demi-human. I've never seen anything like you. Are you from the Zenin continent? I heard about a man named Lynx who used to visit General Viper up in Termina. Could you be him? <laughs> nah, 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 that's, that's not me. And I think we scared away the Komodo pup. Please, mister, please don't eat my Selene. Uh, I'll, I'll try not to. Eek! Hello! Are you a friend of my daddy? Uh-uh-uh, mister! Aren't you hot in those clothes? Yikes! It's nothing! I'm sorry! Yeah, you are probably burning up right now in those clothes, considering they're all black. Hey there, Mom. Young Mom. Oh my! Who may I ask are you? I don't believe we know any demi-humans. If there's nothing in particular, I ask that you please leave. It may not seem so, but we are busy. Don't worry, I'm not going to eat your family up. And let's talk to, uh, Dad. Hey, guy. Well, what a surprise. How long has it been since I last saw a demi-human? What? You're Serge? Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> so how does Serge end up becoming a terrifying demi-human like you? Ha! <laughs> a word of advice. Don't go telling this to everyone you see. The villagers may not find it funny. We villagers don't take on the demi-humans, and everyone here likes Serge. So everybody believed that we were from an alternate reality, but as soon as we tell them that we are got our body switched with Serge, or with Lynx, oh no, no, nobody can believe that. No, no, that's absolutely not. And let's talk, let's go in here. Uh, pretty sure nobody here will say anything new, like, uh, like this guy, he'll say the same thing, but... Uh, the only difference is he'll say... Yeah, you're disgusting. I thought you were Serge! I am. Okay. I don't think I'll talk to those guys, but I'll talk to her. I haven't seen the president of my fan club in a while. I wonder what he's up to. Of course I'm talking about Serge. Where could he be? I need to express myself. I know! I'll have the village chief listen to my new poem. Chief Radius is a patient man. Well, that's nice. I wonder, could I give her the book of poems? You might be giving the wrong message by showing girls all, the, all those items. That's just my opinion. Okay, I thought maybe she would say something like, uh, how did you get my poems or something? Yes, what is it? Has word of my gourmet cooking even reached the ears of you demi-humans? Huh? No? Then what you doing in here? Can't you see you're hurting my business? Sorry, guy. I don't think there's anything else to talk to here. Let's go check up on Lena. Maybe she'll join us. Of course, of course, we recruited Lena from another world, so uh, well, maybe we can get her to join us here. What's up there? Ah! Who, who are you? 
Um, Sayers. What? Sayers? No. That's a lie. What the heck is going on? Well, I'm, I'm Sayers. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. How am I supposed to believe you're Sayers when you look like that? I'm sorry. Okay, so she doesn't believe me. Ugh, what? I don't have any business with you demi-humans. If I let you on my boat, I might end up waking up the dead. I'm very superstitious, you know. How do you think I live to be this old? You didn't die, that's all. Okay, so, uh... Well, we can't do... Okay, so nobody believes that we're Sarah, apparently. Well, I guess my mother probably wouldn't believe it either, but, uh... Sure, I'll go talk to her, why not? Hey, Mom. I, uh... I forgot to shave. Now I'm a little furry. Who might you be? May I help you? What? What did you just say? You're... Serge? Please explain to me exactly what is going on here. And unlike Chrono Trigger, we're actually gonna tell our mom everything that's happened. Oh, this music. I gotta turn it up. I see. So that man told you to go to the Sea of Eden. I really don't know about dimensional distortions or the other world, but if, like you say, something big is really on the verge of happening, it may have all started 14 years ago, on the night of the storm. What storm? The Demi-Humans in Marble talked about a storm. You talk about the same storm? 14 years ago, that, that lines up. That night, your father, Wazuki, and his friend Miguel set out to sea despite a storm. It was an emergency. What kind of emergency? They were swallowed by the high waves and lost consciousness. When they came to, they found themselves inside the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea, huh? A place where no living creature dares enter. I don't know what he saw or happened, but that incident changed your father. Changed him like how? And your father's friend, Miguel. That was Lena's father. He never returned. Oh, so... Back then, that place wasn't called the Dead Sea. Yes, I believe they called it the Sea of Eden. That was 14 years ago. Okay, okay, the Sea of Eden. So, same as another world. Are you the ones everybody is talking about? Hey, it's Radius. No, this can't be. Are you Lynx? You're still alive? Well, step outside, Lynx. For I, too, was once a valiant member of the Acacia Dragoons. I must put a stop to you. No, 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 no. You got it all wrong, buddy. La, la, la. Geezer, I wouldn't show up like that. That is, if you want to live. Do not underestimate the power of Muzir Lynx. One blow and it is off to the other world with you. You're not helping me, Harley. I want these people to think that I'm their friend. Silence! Now step outside! Okay, we gotta fight Radius. Wait, we gotta fight Radius? Listen here, buddy. Is he gonna say anything? On guard! Listen here, buddy. I'm slightly ticked off that I got my body switched with Lynx. I'm even more ticked off that nobody's believed me. But above all, I am still ticked off that the last time we fought, you practically mopped up the floor with, with me. So, I'm not feeling all this. So, I really don't have time for your shenanigans. It's time for freaking payback. Um, I probably should have quit uh, Eagle Eye and all that good stuff, but I never did. Um, I'll have... What can I doppelgang her? I got nothing to doppelgang with just yet. Oh, wait on that. And hardly you do stuff. I want Sarah to use, or playing Sarah, whoever, to use a couple of items. I gave him some yellow elements just for this battle. But uh, let's see. Uh, uh, I could use Feral. I'll use Electro Bolt. Maybe later I'll use a Feral Cat if I get around to it. Let me kill this guy before then. That's good. Hey, what is uh, Harley's Tech Moonshine? Do uh, I think it like uh, I think it casts like some sort of uh, protective barrier around us or something like that. Increases our defense or something like that. 
Yeah, magic defense. Okay. Uh, let's try. Uh, let's try doppelganging in a uh, total chaos. Just for the heck of it. Yeah, see, she's got a whole bunch of element slots on her, so that's pretty cool. Oh, that's not gonna help me any. Long shot! Ow! How bad that hurt? Eh, not too bad. I've had worse. I had to. How'd you get a photon beam? But I wanted to uh, recharge everybody's stamina because it was really low. Okay. That's not too bad. All right. Uh, come on. Let's see. What kind of elements do we have? We have diminish. Diminish uh, temporarily halves magical damage. Yeah, we can actually use doppelganger again. We got free falls. We got turn blacks and more diminishes. Uh, I don't know what else we got, but uh, yeah, let's have Harley do her stuff. Inferno! Oh boy. Ow! Alright, he's sagging. We about got him. Uh. Do we kill him? No, don't kill him. Okay, don't kill the, don't kill the total chaos, please. I need to uh, do a. I need to do a recover all. That's just all there is to it. Okay, that got us out of the danger zone. Let's see what the total chaos can do. Black holes, black hole, hell soul. Okay, just it's all just black element, black element. That's all. That's all it is. Nothing I particularly care about. And Harley, uh, I would like her to use her tech, mine as well. She'll probably finish him off with this. You done? There we go. I stand defeated! That's right, show some humility. All right, we got a new star level, and uh, probably should have healed using consumables. Oh well. Mm. I do not sense any malice in your attacks. Wait, what? Do you really mean to tell me that you are not Lynx? And all it took was for us to beat the heck out of him. This game is really bad about that. Oh, I could tell by the way that you were trying to kill me that you really weren't trying to kill me. I mean, uh, it gets old. And is it true that the general is still active in the other world? What general? You mean General Viper? He's not active anymore. I saw Link stab him in the back, literally. He's gone. Here, the general has been missing for the past three years now. I know, I know the story. Understood. I shall accompany you. We may have a chance to save the general and Riddell in the other world. But it's too late for the general, but I'm all for saving Riddell. Zut! This geezer is only going to get in the way. But we're going to have him join the party anyway. Okay, that's fine. That's kind of weird. It's like, he's going to get in the way, but we'll have him join anyway. Uh, I'll put him in the party later. I want to see what he says if you don't put him in the party. We must gather news in Termina about General Viper's disappearance. We may find clues to show us how to return to the other world. I, Radius, shall give it my all in the name of General Viper. Well, that's great, man. All right, let's talk to uh, Marge again. There are people out there who won't judge you by your appearance. Just keep your head up and do your best. Understand, Serge? So you do believe me. Thanks, Mom. I knew somebody would. All right, let me rest up real quick. And then I'll take a look over at, uh, what's his name? Radius. See what he's all about. 
Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Uh, in another world, most of our party consisted of members from another world. Or I should say, rather, while we were Serge, most of our party members were from another world. Well, now we're going to be kind of building up party members from this world. I guess Harley's kind of, uh, we don't really know which world she's from. But let's take a look at, uh, Radius. He is, of course, Green Elemental. He is the Bi Arnie Village Chief. He is 62. Which I would make a joke about him being old, but you remember Sprig is like 224. He's from Zen and Mainland, and you got all that stuff. Okay. Tex. He is... Got... Long shot and quick draw. That's nice. Alright, what about uh, equipment? He has a silver staff and iron mail. Okay. Oh, uh, Sprig has a silver staff, does she not? I believe she does. Okay, well, there you go. I'm pretty sure no one else is going to tell us anything that we need to hear, so I'm not even going to bother talking. I'm just going to head on out of here and bring Lynx into my party. I think... I have to consider... I think for now, we'll have him replace Harley. Because I don't see her being too useful. I could see Sprig being useful. So apparently four years ago, 14 years ago rather, Serge and his dad, Wazuki, and Lena's dad, Miguel, went off to the sea in the middle of a storm. Wazuki and Serge came back, but Wazuki was different after that, and Miguel never returned. Let's just kind of remember that kind of stuff. Alright, in the next video, we'll go exploring. We'll see, we'll see if we can head to Termina. Now, Fossil Valley would never let us through, but well, we'll see what we can see. Uh, until then, I'm 480 volts. See ya!